Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Amber. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be taking another look at the Poshmark app and some of my top tips on how to be successful and make money on it. Now, if you're having a bit of deja vu, it might be because I have done a variation of this video before. Go ahead and check out part one of my Poshmark tips. I will have that linked below. But Poshmark has asked me again if I would make another video and your girl's not gonna say no to content, especially when it's sponsored. So thank you, Poshmark. That being said, while this video is sponsored by Poshmark, I am genuinely a fan of the app as well as a regular user. I have in the past year made over $300 in sales on the app. I am a top seller, a top rated seller, a top sharer, and a Poshmark mentor. If anybody is questioning my qualifications on being able to make this video, I am one of the top sellers on the app, so I have a little bit of knowledge of what I'm doing. So for anybody who is unaware, Poshmark is a resale app where you can sell newer used clothing, accessories, and makeup, and they are introducing a new home decor section to the app, so those are products you are going to be allowed to upload as well. The app does make a small commission out of any sales that you make, but in return, it obviously gives you use of the platform as well as handling all uh, shipping labels and payment as well as payment transactions so all you really have to do is upload a product and wait for it to get sold hey guys quick cut in this is future me coming back at ya because I just watched back the footage and I want to apologize because I feel like I look just a thousand percent done with everything throughout the video, which is definitely not the case. I am super excited and enthusiastic to have the opportunity to make this video. I am just very sick at the moment and unfortunately have a deadline to meet, so I'm not able to wait until I am completely better to film this video, which is fine. I just like... I think you can tell that like I'm kind of off at the moment, so sorry about that. Normally I would just like slap on some makeup and a cute outfit to try and cover up the fact that I'm sick, but unfortunately part of that is your girl has pink eye, so I can't wear any makeup at the moment. So I kind of just look gross in this video and sound dumb. And I just wanted to let y'all know that that is 100% not the case. I am super excited to be making this video and I genuinely want to help all of you guys out because I am genuinely like a huge fan of Poshmark and it's enabled me to make a bit, quite a bit of money on the side. So if I can help any of you guys do the same, that is fantastic. But anyways, without further ado, here are five more tips on how to be successful and make money on Poshmark. My first tip is to check on and update your account daily. That means responding to any comments on any of your posts, offer to likers, share your products as well as other people's, either accept or counter any offers that may have been made on any of your products. Just pretty much uh, make sure that you've cleared all of your notifications and you've touched base with anything that you have missed since the last time you have been on the app. I definitely recommend doing this at least once a day, if not multiple times a day, if you are really ready for that hustle. But it's a lot for some people. My second tip is to pay attention to any Poshmark notifications and emails. The app does like to host several different activities such as make a deal days or the different parties that they throw, etc. Um, and those will be the days that people are looking to find good purchases. Those are the days that they're looking to make good deals and good sales. So if you are active those days and you are participating in the criteria that Poshmark has set for any of those deals, you are more likely to make a sale on that day. My third tip is to not upload everything you have all at once. So if you have more than one item that you want to add to your shop at one particular time, don't just go and add like a dozen new items at once. You wanna spread it out so you are not just spamming the dashboard of any of your followers so they get lost in the feeds. You want to do it spread throughout the day or spread throughout a couple of days depending on how many new items you are uploading so that way it is more likely to be seen on more people's feeds. My fourth tip is to price your items slightly higher than you wanted to get for them. 
Now, not too high to where the like a high price is going to scare off any potential buyers, but maybe just a couple of dollars more than you are wanting to get because worst case scenario, you'll get a low ball offer that is still closer to what you were wanting to get from the product. And best case scenario, people will just pay the upfront price and you will get just as much, if not more than you wanted to get for the product. And my last tip for today's video is to not be greedy. Yeah, you may have wanted a specific price for a specific item that you have for sale in your closet, but if it's been there for weeks or even months, or for some people I've seen the same thing in people's closets for years, uh, the problem might be the price is too high and you're scaring on any potential buyers. So yeah, you might have wanted a specific price, but if it's not selling, you can, you like, you get, sometimes you just gotta suck it up and lower the price because that can encourage new likers and potential offers on the product that will hopefully help you hook in the sale. We also have a bonus tip today, which is not new information because it is the same bonus tip that I had in my last Poshmark video, but I just wanted to reiterate how important it, I feel it is to follow all of the steps to try and become a Poshmark ambassador because once you become like one of the Poshmark ambassadors, it is so much more easy to be successful on the app than it is before you hit that criteria. Like seriously it is so so easy and for example I believe in my last video which I made around February time I had only made 200 and something dollars on the app and I my follower count was around 8,000 if I'm remembering correctly and now I am filming this at the very beginning of June. I have made over $300 on the app, as well as having 14,000 followers, which is nuts. Like 14,000 people could potentially be seeing all of the products in my closet, which is a lot of people. So <laughs> that's a lot more chances of somebody potentially wanting to buy your product than it is without having that many followers, obviously. So I just wanted to reiterate like how important it is to try and become a Poshmark ambassador. Like it, you really want to be a Poshmark ambassador because you don't even have to do that much like yeah it's work getting to that point but once you get to that point I don't know how it works you know with the actual posh like I don't know how the app does it but once you hit that point you get so many followers like you get so much more activity on your stuff and I don't know if it's just because they're recommending your account to other people to follow or how exactly that works I haven't figured that part out yet I just know that it does work so you want to do the work to get to that point. So those are today's tips for how to be successful and make money on Poshmark. They're not the only tips that I have for y'all. Like I said in the beginning, if you haven't uh, checked out part one to this video, I'll go ahead and link that down below because those are a lot more helpful tips as well. If you are interested in downloading the Poshmark app for yourself, go ahead and check out my link below, as well as use my signup code Amber by STYG for $5 off your first purchase. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I had a blast hanging out with y'all. Peace.